Welcome to week 10 of the Thrift My Way to the USA video series. Over the past nine weeks, we've been hunting through local thrift stores to try and find items that we can sell for a profit on eBay. If we can save up $8,000 over a 16 week period, we're jumping on a plane and flying over to the USA for the ultimate thrift trip adventure. Today's a very important day in these dreams playing out, so let's dive into it and see what we can find. Boy, oh boy, guys, check out this collection that we've got here. Tommy Bahama, this is an amazing long sleeve shirt. Quarter zip, I've got a $15 price point on that. Thanks very much. That's going to be coming away with me. David Smith, we've got a $4 price point on that one there. I'll always pick that up. And then I really like the cotton linen combination to this Tommy Hilfiger shirt. So I've gone ahead and picked that up. I did like the color of that one as well. Uh, super dry, got a long sleeve button-up shirt. This brand just always sells well for me. So an extra large size there, $8 price point. I'll be picking that one up too. Really thought this was a little bit different. Not only was it different, but it also had brand new with tags. It was a size 2XL. The larger sizes are always great. An $8 price point for another Tommy Hilfiger button up that was a really cool find as well and then look something i don't normally buy rod and gun let me know if you've had some success with this brand in the past again a 2xl a men's sweater for eight dollars i thought you just can't go wrong and this one this one is an absolute cracker for eight dollars we've got the ralph Lauren xl blair button up shirt that one goes for about forty dollars so what an absolute collection we've had in the shirts i've dug through the jeans next because I want to have a look at a few of these crackers with you. I've got a pair of uh, Ralph Lauren Chino pants here for $10. They're a 32 waist, a 32 length. Really like the size combination of that one there. Size does play an important part when it comes to the jeans, guys. Tommy Hilfiger, I've got a pair of these as well. Look, I won't get top end. Nothing too crazy on these. Maybe $35, $40, but I've only picked them up for 10 bucks. So I'm pretty stoked to be finding those as well. Um, this one was a good one as well. Abercrombie and Finch. Uh, we've got a button fly here. $10 on these. I should again be able to convert them into about $40 free postage, something like that. Condition of all of these, excellent, my goodness. RM Williams, we've got a pair of RM Williams pants here, really nice cream color. $10 on those and a second pair. You would not believe it. I've got two pairs of RM Williams pants here. They should go for about $45, I'm going to guesstimate. Uh, not too bad of a $10 purchase. We've got not one, not two, but three pairs of G-Star jeans here as well, guys. This is all coming out of the one store. An unbelievable start to the day. Three pairs of jeans, G-Stars. Uh, we've got the Arc 3D Slims in there as well. I know they do pretty well at around about $60. So the brand G-Star, definitely one to look out for. Guys, I've come away with all of these jeans and all all of these shirts out of the one store and I've paid $130. Now guys, we do weekly giveaways on these Trip to the Thrift videos every single week and if you caught last week's episode, you may have remembered that we had the Kevin Durant Brooklyn jersey up for grabs and I'm pleased to report that we've got a winner and that person is Elliot Hawkins. Congratulations, mate. Thank you very much for your support of the channel. That one's going to be going out to you pretty soon. Got another one for this week, and I've just gone ahead and grabbed it out of the thrift. Paid the $15, as you would have seen. We've got the Nike Air Maxes up for grabs. These are in great condition, US size 10. I think you will do well with this, and you may even be able to keep them for the personal if you're a US 10. Um, all you need to do, code word Nike in the comments below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Pretty simple stuff, guys. Good luck. We'll draw it next week. Guys, there is nothing more exciting than digging through a massive wall of DVDs, trying to dig out some profit. And to be honest with you, I've had some pretty good success here. We've got Mortal Kombat. This one should go for about $15. Now, I'm picking up all of these for two bucks a piece. Sailor Moon, what a TV show this one is. $30 if you can find Sailor Moon DVDs. That was a ripper. This is a really good BBC TV series, Juliet Bravo. About 30 bucks just for this single season. So if you found the complete set, my goodness, that would be a very, very good purchase. Uh, Deadliest Catch season. Season two, this is definitely one to look out for if you can find a complete series as well. Just the one should get me about 12 bucks. Thundercats. Now, this one's an absolute rare copy. I'm really liking the look of this. Brand new condition. Should do well. Who remembers Xena Warrior Princess? Well, I've got season five here. Would have loved to have found the entire set. Uh, it goes for about 70 bucks. But nonetheless, I'll pick it up as a single season. Uh, we've got the 25th anniversary edition of Rocky. And uh, look, for six bucks, I think I'll go ahead and do that one. Melrose Place. Do you remember watching this TV show as a kid growing up? Uh, well, that one there was an absolute ripper for me. I've gone ahead and picked that up. Should be 25 bucks a piece. Um, I've also got this as well. You wouldn't believe it. Mario Kart, Nintendo Wii game, brand new sealed with the steering wheel as well. In brand new condition, I'm thinking I might be able to get about 60 bucks for this. So that was just a huge grab in the thrift. Just paid the $5. This one was an Instagram viewer poll question. I just ummed and ahed about this for quite some time. We've got the Torque motorcycle jeans here. Uh, brand new with tags, which obviously helps. A 38 waist 
on these guys. Um, look, I've never sold this brand before. If you've had success with it, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Uh, a $25 purchase price, let me know your thoughts. Um, I found some clothing items as well. Have a look at this, Tommy Jeans, Tommy Hilfiger, really nice striped uh, men's sweater coming into winter. This one should do well, size extra large too. That is an absolute ripping grab. And I've also picked up another pair of jeans here too. We've got the Diesels. These are the Diesel Larkies. I've bought these and sold these a number of times uh, before. So always happy to find them when I'm in the thrift. We had the Instagram viewer poll question in there around the Torque motorcycle jeans. To be honest, I haven't really found the brand Torque too much before, let alone in brand new condition, but I've gone ahead and purchased it. It was a really tight vote between you guys on Instagram. You guys have ended up saying to cop it, but only just uh, look at $25. The comps on eBay, we're talking about $70 to $80 for this thing right here. So um, really stoked about it. Thought it was a no-brainer when I saw the comps, and I'm glad you guys kind of thought so too. Well, guys, this was another Instagram viewer poll question. It was the Nike golf shoes, and I was a little bit curious around just more so the condition. $15 was a great price point. You said to go ahead and cop it, but in the end, I actually left them behind. Like I said, just basically based on condition. Um, these ASICS Gel Lethal Ultimate Footy Boots, just the $8 price point on these. I'm going to pick them up every single time, so that was a good one. Uh, I found these as well, the Vans Canvas Shoes. Look, a $30 price point on these, guys. I'm selling my Vans for about $40 on eBay, so 30 bucks in a thrift store. I felt like that was pretty horrendous, even though they were in just such great condition. Got the Asics Gel Kayano men's uh, running shoes here as well. Plain black, like the look of them, $20 purchase price. I'm, I'm happy to pick them up for $20, but not when they've got soles like that. So I left that one behind. Got this one here as well. This is a Levi Strauss, size small. Uh, we've got a women's uh, button-up jacket here. And look, I did like the look of it. I am Denard. I put it up to you guys as an Instagram viewer poll. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Got some DVDs here that I want to have a quick chat about too, guys. Father Ted for $4. If you can find this, you'll convert yourself into about 25 bucks on eBay. So that was a good one. And have a look at the wall of box sets that we've got here. A lot to be sifting through, a lot to be picking from. I ended up finding a couple of goodies. I've got Spooks. If you can find this in complete series one to 10, you'll do yourself about a hundred bucks on eBay. Uh, but I found three seasons here. Should get me about 30 to $35, so not too bad there. Uh, one Tree Hill picked this one up the other day, yet to sell, so therefore I've left this one back on the shelf. $12.50 seasons one to nine. Blue Murder, this is a really good one. Complete series one to five. Should be making big bucks per the comps that I was seeing right there on eBay. So that was an awesome find for $5.50. Arguably one of the better DVDs I've ever found, to be honest with you. Um, this one here as well, we've got Nashville, seasons one to three. Not too bad on Nashville. Thought I'd pick it up. It was just the $4.50, three seasons worth. That's not too bad. Always like it when it's got that box covering around it as well. So go ahead and grab that one. And uh, yeah, that was the three DVDs that I grabbed. I love it when the Instagram viewer poll questions are super tight, and that was certainly the case with this Levi Strauss women's jacket. I've gone ahead and left it behind. I just think $20 is a little bit too steep. I wanted to see what your thoughts were, and it was a 49-51% vote count in the favor of going ahead and dropping it. So I've sided with the majority on this occasion. Look, if it was $10, $15, I think I could have turned it into about 50 on eBay, but 20 bucks, just a little bit too much. Really cool find here, guys. We've got a size large women's motorcycle jacket. The brand is Shark, and it's a good one to be finding. There's some great comps on eBay for this brand. It's actually a local Queensland brand as well. $20 into what would be about $80 to $100, but I left it on the shelf. I forgot all about it. And that was a really bad scenario because that would have easily made me a few dollars. Um, found some video games here as well. And I was digging through pretty much every single one that you can see here. I thought I might have come away with some profit. It was a $5.50 purchase price across every single game. And unfortunately, there was just no money in it, which made for a pretty quiet fourth run. So not too bad of a run there today, guys. The total haul was 33 items. We spent $230 all up today. That worked out to an average sale price of just $7. Exactly how I like to source my items when I'm in the thrift. Now, what we need to do from here is just go through everything, work out how much it's gonna be on eBay, and then work out what our potential profit will be to put towards the America trip. I've already gone ahead and done that, and I deem there to be $1,100 worth of estimated resale value out of today's haul. And I work off about 45% to 50% so I'm going to account for $450 to put towards the kitty, conservatively speaking, for this America trip. So another $450, put it away. That's going to go towards pretty much all of the expenses that we've got coming up for what is going to be a pretty epic trip. I'm getting pretty excited six weeks out. Really looking forward to it. Remember, guys, there is a playlist 
for all of these weeks of the uh, Thrift My Way to the USA series that you can go and check out right now on my YouTube channel. Remember to be in the draw to win the Nike Air Max ones. These are going out to somebody next week. All you need to do is lock in the keyword Nike in the comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you missed last week's episode, I'll make it easy for you and I'll put it right here. Appreciate you tuning in, guys. Look forward to catching you next time. We'll see you soon.